scientific notation is just an easier way to write really small or really large numbers. You will have two different forms. Standard form is just the expanded form of that number or the number itself. And scientific notation is just the condensed form of that same number. The proper setup for scientific notation, you will always have one non-zero number followed by a decimal, then after that decimal, you will have one or more numbers, doesn't matter if it's zero or not. And that would have been times 10 to the some sort of exponent. So you'll see, for example, we have 2.30 times 10 to the fourth. That is an example of your proper scientific notation. If you wanted to then write a really, really small number into scientific notation, remember that all small numbers will have negative exponents when you put them in scientific notation. So all numbers less than one have negative exponents. Let's try one. Write 0 0.0007211 in scientific notation. This is your clue. This is a very small number or it's less than one. So it will have a negative exponent. What we're going to do, take that decimal place and we're going to move it all the way to that seven because that is your first non-zero number. So moving this over one, two, three, and four, putting our decimal place there, we know that we will have a negative four as our exponent because that's how many places we move to get to that first non-zero number. So our proper scientific notation is then 7.211 times 10 to the negative fourth. When we're writing numbers that are already in scientific notation and going back to standard form, that exponent tells you whether or not to move to the right or to the left. So if it's negative, you're actually gonna to move to the left, and if it's positive, you're gonna to move to the right. 8.72 times 10 to the negative third, we're gonna write that in standard form. You'll see that we have a negative three as our exponent. So a negative three, recall, that tells us it's going to be a number that is less than one. So we're gonna move the decimal place to the left three. So I'm gonna move this over one, two, and three, and my decimal place is here. I'm gonna place a zero wherever I had any missing spaces. And our final answer is 0 0.00872. When you're converting really large numbers into scientific notation, large numbers have positive exponents. All numbers larger than one have positive exponents. For example, Let's write this ridiculously large number into scientific notation. So clearly this is larger than one, so we know it will have a positive exponent. Your decimal place is always after the zero or always after that last value since there wasn't initially a decimal place. And we're gonna move this all the way over to this nine because that's our first non-zero number. So I'm gonna just count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So our setup will be 9.0, and then following with all of the numbers that we had before, times 10 to the positive seventh. Seven, because we moved that decimal place over seven times. Let's write 1.489 times 10 to the fifth in standard form. Remember, standard form now is just the expanded form of this number, that five tells us it's a very large number. So from that decimal place, we're gonna actually move over to the right five times. One, two, three, four, five, placing that decimal place here, which really it's gone. This would have been zero and zero. The reason I say that that decimal place is gone is because it's now a really large number and there's no need to put a decimal place since there is no numbers following. So this would be our Correct number in standard form. Sometimes you have numbers that look like they're in scientific notation, but they actually have two numbers in front of that decimal place, and we know that that's not correct. So how do you change them back? If you're trying to move that decimal place to the left, you will add how many decimal places you're moving to that exponent. Now, if you're going the other way, if you're going to the right, you're actually going to subtract. I know it's always the opposite of what you're thinking or what you're used to, 
but let's try some. Though this number looks like it's in scientific notation, it's not because remember, we have to have one non-zero number in front of that decimal place, but instead we have two. So we have to move this decimal place over one. Whenever you move over one to the left, you will add one to that exponent. So instead we have 1.2409 times 10 to the negative fifth because we added a one to that exponent. Now we're trying to move this decimal place over one. When we move that over once to the right, we will subtract this exponent by one, making it a negative four. So when we move over to the left, you add, and when we move to the right, we subtract. 